What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be playing Prison Architects on the channel. I don't know if this is going to be like a full series, but if you guys want to see more videos on it, please smash that like button and let me know down in the comments. Anyway, without further ado, what we have to do is make a prison, maintain it, make sure it is well guarded so no little dudes are escaping. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's press any button, let's get in there, and let's check it out. So this game is free on Xbox One. I mean, if you do have an Xbox One, you can pick it up right now if you have a live gold membership. And uh, yeah, uh, we're going to skip all of this. Because, yeah. Am I even signed in? I am signed in. Okay. <laughs> that makes things a little bit easier. What do we want to do? There's Warden Architect. I think we're going to start with Prison Stories. Okay, so a massive fire has... Wait, what? There's loads of... Wait, what? Have we done one? When? Okay, we're going to start again, obviously. Let's uh, let's start. So these are little mini stories inside the prison. And, uh, yeah, we have to build the prison. Here we go. We got... Oh, we got a load of... Uh, a load of prisoners. Look at them. They do not look very happy. So you can build your own prison. I think I will do that as well. If you guys are scared of doing the little story missions, please let me know down in the comments. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be pretty damn good in this prison so far. No one looking to escape or anything that we can see anyway. Okay, what is going on? Okay. Conroy, Silver, Atkins, they are being put into... Is that new cells? got the foreman's office, the chief's office, and the warden's office. Okay. And this is the garage, is that? I think it says garage. I can't really see. There's little dudes running around on it. Okay, he's got a Bible, is that? Here we go. Prison Architect, Xbox One Edition. Let's see what we're doing. I may try and make my own prison after this. I may do a few of these little story things first, and then we can get started on a prison. Okay, the CEO is calling. Let's answer it. Okay, the CEO. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of double murder and sentenced to death. Oh, God. Okay, that's where we come in. We've been contacted, or contracted, I can't read, to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Okay, so we need to make the execution chamber. Starting very, very crazy in this series. Uh, this is where I want the new facility to be built. The step, uh, the first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself. We need to make sure we have enough space inside to fit all the rooms we require. Instant, in this instance, we need an execution chamber and a cell. So let's get started. To construct a new building, press blah blah blah. Okay, okay, let's go. From there, simply select building brick. Position the cursor where you'd like to start building. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go. So, structure, structure. I can't read. Building brick, so we want to go. Dude, is that how you do it? That's kind of cool. Okay, there we go. And now this is the most coolest thing, because I think all these people are going to start building. The CEO, what do you want? Are they going to start building? Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. Okay. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. Okay. They'll use raw those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead uh, when building new facilities. Okay, while we wait for them to finish, let's take a look around. Use the R to move around. Okay, okay, blah, 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 so we can just chill. Uh, okay, so we have a prison over here. Um, I don't know if we really need to mess around with these guys too much. As we can see, though, uh, everyone's eating. They look kind of happy. You can actually follow people. That's pretty cool. You can just see what they're up to, I guess. So we've got big hail here. Um, okay, so the builders are going in here, and what they are doing, they are carrying little materials, as you can see, like this dude here. Can we follow him? I can't, I can't follow him. There we go. So this little workman is going to go and build whatever this is over here. Is there any way we can, like, speed time? I don't think there is. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, LB. All we have to do is this. I think we just have to wait. These guys are... Whoa, look at them. They're like little termites. Go, my dudes. Let's go. Oh, look at them. That's really, really cool. I like that. Look at them all working hard to make this. Dude, they're doing it very good as well. God damn. Okay. Jesus. Is that it? I think they're done. Are they done? I'm not too sure. The CEO will give us a call. And there we go. Room created. Is that it? What do we do now? Okay, we need to be able to get in and out of the new building. So let's add an entrance. Build a large jail door into the south wall. Okay, to build a jail door, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
Okay, with the doors and walls menu open, simply select large jail door, position the cursor inside the highlighted rectangle and press A to build a door. Okay, so we want to go to walls and doors and then we want a nice large jail door. We're going to place that bad boy there, exactly where it wants us to do. And then uh, we're going to see our little jail door come to life. Where are they actually building it from? I think this drops it off up here, which is so cool. It's so cool seeing all these little things. It's just the jail door. Yeah, there we go. And then, oh, look at this. He's going to open the gate. That's so cool. And it comes in. It's like a living little world from like a top-down view. But yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, please let me know. It's so damn cool. How has he just walked past the car? I don't want to know. And then we're going to get someone to come in and carry the door. That's so awesome. He's going to drop it off there. And then one of the workmen's are going to pick it up. Okay, it's disappeared. Where's it go? I think this little dude has it. Where's he going? Okay, we've got some cash coming in. How does cash work in prison? I, I wonder. Okay, so it must be like they're walking around, they're stretching their legs. There are a lot of prisoners. And there's lots of things for them to do as well, like weights benching uh, and stuff like that. We've got some, what is this? Phone booth? Okay, it comes to the door. Okay, is he going to be okay with all the prisoners there? I don't think that's safe, dude. We should really have him walk around the outside because these dudes are crazy. Some of them could be murderers, man. We don't want to like, have our door be taken away. More so, we don't want the person to die that's carrying the door. Poor little workman over here just trying to do his job. He don't want to get murdered. Okay, are these people trapped inside? I suppose they won't be in a minute once the door's on, so... Did I put the door in the wrong place? Probably did. Oh, no, we never. Okay. Awesome. There we go. The door has been complete. As I said, we need a cell and an execution room inside our new building. Okay. Uh... Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. You can build brick walls by returning to the walls and doors menu. Blah blah blah. Okay, I know to do this. So we go over to walls and doors, and uh, we need to go here. So boom, boom. Is this even working? Is this working? And then there. Oh no. There, 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 and there. There we go. Now what do we do? I think we're all good. Let's find out. Are they going to start delivering our stuff? I love watching it coming on the van. Here it comes down here. It looks like there's a lot of garbage. Did they pick that up? Okay, so obviously this prison is a pre-built prison. Uh, but we can go and make our own one. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see more of these little story things. Where we have to do things like build an execution chamber. And then kill someone. Which is going to be crazy. <laughs> but yeah. Please let me know if you'd rather do that. Or would you rather... Um, us just make our own prison and then see how we get on with it. But here we go. What is going on? So like I did say, this game is free on Xbox One. If you guys are looking to pick it up, it is absolutely free. All you need is a gold membership and uh, you will be able to play this for free. So if you guys are enjoying it and you would uh, like to pick it up, it is free at the moment. So yeah, uh, I would say so. Uh, prison Architect, I was going to buy it a little while ago, uh, but I'm kind of glad it's free now. Okay, what are they doing? It looks like the prisoners are back in their cell. Just chilling out. Okay, and then these dudes are doing something. Have they started to build yet? Okay, here we go. They're building. Prioritise this job. It looks like they are prioritising it anyway. We've got a load more bricks coming in. Uh, we've got some policemen down in the yard as well. This is so cool. It's like everyone just gets on with their day. As we can see, some prisoners are just chilling in their cells. We've got the policemen out here. The builder's getting on with the building. Oh, there's even people in the cafeteria. That's so cool. Oh, there's some bacon, some chips. Some, it looks like mushrooms. Is that what they eat? Bacon? Dude, they're all going to die of heart attacks. Is that all they're going to eat? Okay, so they're building the walls. Work, my little minions. Okay. Okay, good work. Now add large jail doors to those dividing rails. Okay. Uh, you need to rotate one of these large jail doors before you place it. You can do that by clicking left stick. Okay, so we want to go to some more walls and doors. And uh, we need some large jail doors. So there's one right there. And then we'll rotate you there. There we go. So now we need to go and wait for these little slave people. Where are they at? The little minions. Look at them. Come on, minions. Look at them go. We've got workmen. Oh, he's tired. Are they all tired? He's very tired. But some of these aren't. Uh, yeah, some of you that aren't tired, you really need to get a move on. Are we going to get some more things coming in? It looks like it's starting to get dark. It is 7.48 p.m. We've got some more guards up here. Some of them have batons and stuff as well. That's cool. Some more stuff coming on the truck. So damn cool. I do wonder though if the uh, inmates will try to like escape and shit. Because that will be terrifying. 
I think our prison will probably get shut down if that is the case. It just keeps saying eat here. Now, I don't know what that means. Like, do they, are they going to eat? I don't really know what's going to happen. But, yeah. Please let me know, like I said, guys. Please, please let me know if you'd rather see, like, a full playthrough of me building the prison or if you want to see little story modes like this. So, here we go. He's placing the jail door. Dude, he's very quick. I would like to see someone put a door up quicker than this man. Okay, there we go. Two jail doors installed. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, we now need to designate the room type of each of our new buildings. What? Of each room in our new building, so that everyone knows what that room is used for. Okay, use the rooms menu to designate a cell uh, in the smaller area. Okay, okay, so that is what we got to do first. Then designate the execution room. I can't speak. The execution room itself in the larger area. Okay, so we need to go to here. How do we do this? Rooms. Execution. How do we do it? Oh, whoa, whoa, what? Okay, we need to go in a corner. You are the execution room. What? What was it not working? Oh, this is the execution room. Oh God, I'm an idiot. Okay, you are the execution room. There we go. And then you, my little buddy, are the cell. And then, boom, there we go. Okay, so are they going to come in and start building stuff? Let's find out. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. Okay, the cell needs to contain a bed and a toilet and a bare minimum, at a bare minimum, to repeat legal, I can't speak, to meet legal requirements. The execution room obviously requires an electric chair if it is to use, if it is to be used uh, to perform executions. Well, that is kind of obvious. You can find all these objects in the objects menu uh, to add blah blah blah. Okay, okay. All right, so we need to go and find some objects. Okay, a bed. We need a bed and a toilet, I believe you said. So, a bed, a toilet, which is going to rotate up against the wall because that's going to really annoy me. And the electric chair. There we go. $5,000? Jesus Christ. Okay, so now obviously you know the drill. These little fuckers have got to go and do their thing. Uh, and here it comes. It's so cool just watching it come in. I bet all these guards are getting tired of all the new stuff turning up. And then he's like, God damn it, I've got to go and let him in. Is anyone coming? Dude? Okay, here comes one dude. And he has a baton. Do these guards not have guns? Dude, you may need a gun. What if he jumps over the fence and uh, you can't chase him down and baton him? You should just shoot him. <laughs> Maybe a stun gun? I don't know. It looks like these dudes are chilling. And they, they seem to be kind of happy. This dude's got a TV. He must be a good dude. He's got a TV as well. What's he got? What is that? Just a chair? Okay. He hasn't got anything. Rob Reese. He's got a really cool uh, mohawk. What is else? Uh, do they all have different names? Jordan Atkins? Okay, they do. That's kind of cool. Joe Meadows. That's really cool that they have like own their own names. Like in uh, The Escapist, which is another similar game to this. Kind of similar art style. Top down and um, cartoony like this. Um, they only have like one name. I think, anyway. Okay, so it looks like the bed and the toilet has been installed. Now we just have to install the electric chair. This is going to be scary. Hopefully we don't get him, like, get to see him get shocked. But, uh, yeah. I mean, he's done... He's murdered people. He's a bad dude. He deserves to be put in the electric chair and taken out once and for all. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We are going to go and shock the living hell out of him. Okay, so where is our stuff, dude? Okay, oh, someone's putting it together. Okay, dude. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're doing much. It just looks like you're rubbing the... Uh... Okay, okay, you're done. Don't worry, just forget what I said, buddy. You go and enjoy yourself. CEO is calling. Okay, that's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make, okay? It's up to you, though. Those aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. Okay. Okay, the cell itself should be... Uh, could be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. Um... And the facility would work better with higher quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. I think they say said mosaic. I'm not. I'm not even too sure. Okay. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. You know what? I'm not too bothered about touching it up. If it, if it was my own prison, I would touch up the finer details uh, and add my own little spin on the prison. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to execute this dude. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey. A teacher once, would you believe? Okay, it's not our place to decide whether he deserves this. The law has been, uh, the law has made that decision. We're just here to do our job. Okay. Once you are satisfied, the facility is ready. You can pre uh, begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply place the cursor on the snapshot of the cell. 
and press A to initiate the transfer. Okay, did we do it? Let's go. The chief is calling. Okay, so is this it? Oh, it's like a little cutscene. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little drawing. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to know what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Oh, we're going to get a flashback. This is kind of cool. I do like this. Okay. Oh, so he's actually at home now. He's not in the prison. Okay. Dude, he's got a big ass. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I can see kind of not. A, I mean, he should have just gotten to get out, but there you go. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward, I don't. Just don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Kaboom. And then he shot them both. Boom. Okay, shot the dude. Did he shoot her? Yep, he shot her as well. Jeez. Okay, Edward, you are one crazy dude. I mean, it's kind of justifiable. I guess, in a way, she was sleeping with him. Uh, she was cheating on him. But you would, just, you would just calm down. You would just get out. And you would just leave. Why do you even have a gun? It's like he planned it. Maybe he's a little bit more crazy than what we think. And there we go. He is out. And, uh... Drop the gun. The evidence is right there on the gun. You are not getting away with this. And now you are about to die, my friend. Clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every vault he's going to get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. Exactly. Uh, he went there with a loaded gun knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with his authorities. This is making an example of him. If he committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at a life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Let me know down in the comments if you think he should be killed or not. Uh, the CEO is calling. Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't operational yet because it doesn't have any power. Okay. I wish you told me this earlier. Uh, we need to connect it directly to the power station that supplies our prison with its electricity. Okay, how the hell are we doing this? What am I even looking at? Uh, we are now viewing the prison in the underground view. In this view, you can see the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Okay, each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables shown in green. Okay. Okay. Power is provided to the prison by this power station which draws electricity from the national national grid. Jeez, okay, I can't speak. Okay, as you can see, this entire cell block is without power. Okay, to fix this problem, we first need to switch back on the underground view to understand why the lights are without power. Okay, okay, so what do we do? The nearest electrical cables are far, are too far away, our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. You need to extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. Okay. To construct ele uh, new electrical cables, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Place electrical cables in the highlighted areas to improve power for this cell block ASAP. Okay, we're going to get ready and do this. Power supply. Let's go with you. And we'll go there. Do we need to rotate? I'm not even too sure. Do we need to put it here? No. Oh, it just does it on its own. Okay. There we go. Are we connected now? I think we're okay. Let me check what we need to do. Electrical cables connect cell to power supply. How do we connect it? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we need to prioritize this, guys. Wherever you are. Okay, they're coming in. It looks like they're rolling up with the, uh, the things they need. There's a bunch of wire around here. Okay, how do we go back underground? Okay, what is this? Fast. Okay, they're being well treated. That is good. That is good. Uh, wiring. Okay, I don't know. Maybe once this electric is in, 
it will all power up anyway. I'm not too sure if we need to do anything else. It does say connect the cell to power supply. I don't really know how we do that. I think we just got to wait for our little dudes to come in. Looks like some of them are starting to turn up. It's so cool. You have like a bunch of different people in here. Obviously, you have the people that work in the canteen. You have the foreman. You have the chief. There's so many little things going on. And it's quite hard to uh, pay attention to it all. But yeah, so cool. I did think I see a dog earlier, which is so awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Looks like they're starting to lay down the wire. Is it done? Is it done here? Why would you start there, dude? Surely you would start here, work your way along, but okay. Whatever. Do your thing, buddy. Okay, I don't even know if it's done. Like, I, I, I can't tell. Is it done? No, okay, so we've still got some spots here that need doing, I think. And then obviously a load down here. So they're grabbing like a nice big tube of wiring. Here we go. They're doing one there. And then one more there, buddy. Nice. And that, oh, it's all come back online. That's awesome. Okay, so we only need a few more down this way. Come on, guys. Let's go. Guys and girls. I think that is a girl. That is indeed a girl. Guys and girls, build these things. Let's go. Nice. Okay, the power is back on. And the CEO is ringing me again. Let's go. Okay, what's up, buddy? The lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Okay. Use some more electrical cables to connect the execution facility to the power station. Okay. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power supply. This means you'll need to connect it uh, up directly with electrical cables. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. How are we doing this? Do we just, uh, do we just continue on? Construction. We need to go to power supplies. And I'm going all the way away. <laughs> Okay, right, here we go. So we want to go along here, and then, did that work? Did we do it? I don't think, yeah, we did it. Okay, all right, we're just going to start here. And then, boom. And then, boom, boom, boom. And I think that is it. I think that is all we need. And then once that thing is ready, it looks like this dude is going to get fried, I'd imagine. So we need to wait again. I think there is a way we can speed this up. So we can... Okay, so yeah, these guys are moving like crazy. Okay, let's have them at normal now. Well, we can speed them up a little bit. Let's go. Come on, little dudes. Get your job done. Okay, he just done one bit. Dude, we got all this to do. Okay, let's speed them up. So once this is all done, look at them go. They're like little bees flying around and doing their own thing. That's so cool. Okay, are we good? CEO, what's good, buddy? We're almost done, I think. We should test a new execution room at least once before we try to use it. Yeah, though, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds and make sure everything is okay. Okay. Oh, it blew the whole thing, didn't it? Oh, right. That's unfortunate. What do we do now? Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and it tripped the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. Okay, we're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Okay, so what do we do now? Do we need to upgrade that or build something else? Adding capacitators to our power stations allows it to hand, handle having more electrical items connected to it. Okay, build three more capacitators around this power station so it has enough capacity to handle us turning on the electric chair. Okay, uh, to add extra blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we want to go to here. We want to go back to power supply. And we want to find capacitators. Okay, so... One, two, three. There we go. Okay. So let's get off this and then we're going to speed it up a little bit. Watch all these little dudes come fluttering in and build us a new power supply. Let's go. Where are they at? Okay, there's one. There's two and there's three. There we go. Okay. Hopefully we can. Uh... Okay, CEO's back. God damn it. Uh, what is up now? Please don't tell me there's any more problems. Okay, now we've made those improvements, we should be able to get the power back up and running. Okay, uh, so let's give it a go. Switch on the power station and uh, by placing the cursor over it and pressing A. Okay, here we go. Boom! Power is back on. Let there be light in the prison. CEO's caught the goddamn. He must have that phone on standby. Looks like the lights are back on all over the prison, which is a good sign. Okay, and it looks like poor dude down here is going to get taken out. Okay, now we need to test the electric chair again. And hope the power station copes with the extra load this time. Testing the electric tray is easy. You just need to switch it on, place the cursor over it, and press the A button. Okay. So we go over here. Okay, is it working? Probably going to get a phone call. Okay. 
I think he's going to phone us again. God damn it, this dude's starting to annoy me. Okay, well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's important in our business, okay? Try not to worry about what happens next, okay? Dude, rest in peace. What is this? The hell? I kind of like the fact there's like little story uh, elements in it as well. Uh, it's kind of cool. I do like this. It's kind of like the campaign. Um, and then obviously you can just go and build your own prison. But is this the dude? Looks like this is him. The dude that killed his wife and the uh, dude that she was cheating on him with. What is happening? That is one very long hallway, might I say. Okay. Can I help you? Okay, dot, 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 and he's got him by the head. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want, to f I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask, if you ask him to. Come read. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Okay, and now he is here. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be of God soon. He will have the final judgment on you. Okay. Edward, buddy. Rest in peace. I mean, he was a murderer, but I guess... Murder's bad, kids. Murder is bad. But, um, yeah. He had a cool moustache as well. <laughs> okay. So Edward is going to get fried by the electric chair. So it seems. Okay. What's going to happen? Okay, it is actually happening. I thought the game kind of froze then. It was just sitting still. What is all this dramatic things about, dude? Get on with it. Okay, he's in the chair. What happens now? Is he done? Do I have to do something? Okay, no. It's, it's kind of froze. I don't know. Okay, he's going to turn it on. Mr. Executioner Man. Okay, this is kind of dramatic. Edward, Rums Edward Romsey, you've been uh, found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Doesn't look like it. Susan, I'm sorry. Dude, this game's dramatic for a cartoon. Jesus Christ. And then boom. He is gone. And uh, yeah, there he is. He's down. Um, there is a load of other uh, little story modes, so if you guys would like to see more, please let me know down in the comments. That is like the first one done, and that was pretty cool. I really did enjoy that. I hope you guys did too. Um, I could just go and build my next, uh, like, like my prison in the next video. So yeah, please let me know what you'd like to see. If this series does well, I'll make it into a full series as well. So yeah, that should be pretty fun. But yeah, the first episode is near enough done. I just want to see if there's any more. Any more story to it? Okay, there is not. The next one is this dude. Okay, guys, I'm going to end today's video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please smash that like button, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you for more Prison Architect next time. So, awesome, guys. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you again in the next video.